Hi everyone and welcome back to Rough Rider, where every week I talk writing, self-publishing, and living in a barely literate society. Except last week because I got lazy. This week I'm going to be talking about social media and five ways that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel. So when you decided to self-publish, you went from indie author to marketing executive. And now it falls on you to promote and market your book to potential readers. Luckily, social media makes that easier to do than ever, and you don't necessarily have to pay to run ads on Google or Amazon or anything like that. You could always just post a link to your Amazon page and hope that someone clicks on it, but there are more creative strategies you can use for social media marketing. Now, the first way that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel is to actually promote your author brand. So you'll probably be using your own personal accounts for posting about your book. And since you will be posting things that are not necessarily book related, maybe pictures from vacations or just updates about your personal life, people are gonna be seeing things that are more than just your book. And that means that people are gonna to get to know you and not just your work. In the past, you probably could have written a book without people really getting to know much about your personal life. Unfortunately, now everything's out in the open, everything's exposed and the internet is forever. So anything that you put out there, people are probably going to see. And because of that, you need to get people to be interested in you and not just your book. People are gonna be more likely to support you if they feel that you deserve their support. So what you should try to do is be likable, be authentic. And I know social media has a reputation for being a place full of like fakes and frauds, but you want to be going for authentic. And I don't mean appearing authentic, but I mean actually being authentic. Be yourself and make yourself someone that people are going to like. And people like authenticity. And if you think you're not interesting enough, just keep in mind that there are millions of people who subscribe to YouTube channels that are literally just people filming their day and not doing anything remarkable. It's like, oh, I'm pouring myself a bowl of cereal in the morning. Let me film this. Oh, I'm going to go put gas in my car. Let me film that too. People just love to vicariously live through others, even if the stuff they're seeing isn't interesting at all. And keep in mind, you wrote a book, which is more than most people can say. So that in itself makes you interesting and makes you stand out. So in your bio, you should put that you're an author, list any books that you've written and come up with a little tagline about yourself you can use as sort of like, a form of branding for you as an author. Like I always put libertarian fiction author, blogger, and casual sax player. I still have not filmed myself playing saxophone, but it's in the background over here behind me. <laughs> just make sure that you stand out. Make sure that people don't think that your book's just worth reading, but that you are also an author worth following. When people like the salesperson, they are more likely to buy the product. And by promoting your author brand, you're making yourself a trusted salesperson. Now, the second way that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel is to to network with reviewers. Book reviews are essential for indie authors. They basically make or break you. You don't have a name for yourself yet. Like you're not famous. You're not a household name like JK Rowling or Stephen King. So people don't know who you are. And because they don't know who you are, if they see your book, there's no reason for them to trust that it's going to be a good one. You could always hope that they take a chance on it, but they're more likely to buy it if they see that other people have read it and have positive things to say. If Stephen King writes a new book, and he's not going to be entirely dependent on a number of reviews on Amazon in order to get people to buy it. People know who he is. People know what he writes. People know that they like his stuff. They're going to buy it anyway. But for you, you do need those numbers. And when you're just starting out, you put out your first book, you can have your friends and family write reviews for you, writing, you know, semi-authentic, nice things about it. But eventually you're gonna run out of relatives and acquaintances to write these things for you. And that's when you're gonna have to go online and find new reviewers. And when I say go on social media and find reviewers, I'm not saying that you should just post that, oh, I'm looking for reviewers. Uh, here's a link to my Amazon, write something nice. I don't care what you say. Like that just looks desperate if you're like begging people to review you. It just looks bad. Don't do it. You should be trying to find people who have made kind of an online career out of reviewing books. So look for book review blogs, podcasters who talk about books, YouTube channels that talk about books, just content creators who put out things about books or book genres that they enjoy. Try to network with these people, figure out who would be a good fit for your book because you, if you write sci-fi, you don't wanna be trying to network with people who only talk about romance. It's not really gonna make any sense for you. So try to find people who would be interested in your book. You're gonna get a whole ton of rejection. A lot of people will probably ignore you, but all you need is one person to actually pay attention to you. And if they have a big audience, then you just got word out about your book 
book. A whole bunch of people have just seen, oh, a content creator that I trust, who I like to watch, who I follow, says something nice about this book, maybe I should check that out. People do get a little weird about DMs, you know, sliding into your DMs. So it might be better to just email them if they have an email listed. So that's probably a safer way to go, just so that way you avoid any potential for people getting awkward about you DMing them. If you don't have a choice, then I guess go ahead and do it. But I would say that don't use that as like your first tactic to reaching out to them. If you just get one of these people to say something nice about you, that will just kind of open the door. More people are going to be likely to talk about your book, you're going to get the exposure that you need. Now, the third way that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel is to relate your novel to trending topics. Don't just make your book interesting, make it relevant. There's always a trending topic on social media, and it's easy to figure out what's trending because they usually, the site will just tell you what it is. Like Twitter will list what's trending. So you should join that conversation and bring your book with you, figuratively speaking. When you figure out what's trending, see what topics your book can relate to. Don't try to force it if it's just really not a great thing that you can connect your book to just don't do it because you're going to run out of things to talk about really quickly but if you do find a topic that is a good match for your book then try to take advantage of that you know if your book is about I don't know, colonialism or something. Like there's a plot line in your book that involves one group of people conquering and taking over the lands of another. If that sort of subject ever comes up in public discourse, which it does a lot these days, then you can try to relate your book to it. After you find a trending topic that is a good fit for your book, you should figure out how you're going to go about presenting it. So you could post a quote from your book. You could post a short excerpt. You could post a little summary that you write that explains how that book is relevant. If you can, try to use keywords about that topic. Like if you can find a quote from your book that actually has the words that are being used commonly in that conversation. Like again, if we're talking about colonialism, if the word colonialism, unlikely, but if that somehow appears in a book, like a, a character says it, use that. Or if the subject of conquering comes up or like destroying a less powerful culture or something like that comes up, then use those quotes because it does contain keywords. It'll make it come up more readily like when people are searching for that topic. Also definitely use hashtags. That's the best way to really link your post to that topic. You should obviously include a link to your product page so that way people know where they can actually buy your book. Basically when people see a post about a book that is relevant to a topic that they're actually interested in and engage with online, then they're gonna be a lot more intrigued than if they saw some random post with a random book quote about something that has nothing to do with anything that they actually are involved in online. Now, the fourth way that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel is to advertise book promos. You don't just need to relate your book to a trending topic to make it relevant. There is always a holiday you can take advantage of, especially if you live in a commercialist or a consumer society like the United States. Think about seasonal sales or holiday sales like Black Friday or Cyber Monday. You know, think about Valentine's Day if you're a romance author, Halloween if you're a horror writer, or there's also pop culture holidays like May 4th if you're a sci-fi writer, because you know, that's for sci-fi fans, may the fourth be with you. Think about what holiday or holiday season or time of the year really fits your book. And then you should set up a promotional deal with whatever print on demand service or self-publishing service you've decided to use. Depending on what platform you're using, you may or may not have that option, but most of them will let you do that, especially if you're self-publishing eBooks. It'll usually let you run a promotion that involves either a discount or offering your book or ebook totally for free. But if you can figure out if your platform allows you to do this, then definitely try to take advantage of that. If you're first starting out and this is like your first novel or first story that you put out, I would probably just do a free promotion because you're really not gonna be making money anyway at that stage. So it doesn't matter if you're not getting royalties. You really just want the exposure. If you are making a little bit of money off of books and you've been self-publishing for a while, then a discount's probably better because you do still want to make money. After you've set up this promo deal, then go to social media and start promoting that. Use hashtags to link this to whatever holiday you're doing this for, and just come up with a list of posts that you're gonna use that you can cycle through. So that way you're not just posting the same thing over and over and over again every single day for like five days straight. Now, the fifth way that you can use social media to promote your self-published novel is to join book groups. People use social media to find people with similar interests and to join a larger online community. There are Facebook 
Facebook pages and subreddits for basically anything, like pretty much every hobby, every interest. There's a fan club for everything you can think of. And that means that there's also book clubs online, especially ones that are devoted to particular genres. You should try to find a group on Facebook or Reddit or another site that is related or focused on the genre that you like to write in. Join one that seems like a good fit and get to know the members of that group. I don't mean that you should go into this like some sort of FBI agent infiltrating a civilian group. Like that's not what you're doing here. You don't wanna be the, the secret author who's trying to pretend to just be a reader and is pushing your own book trying to pretend you didn't write it. Like nothing deceptive like that. Like you don't want to be the mole. It just, it's just, it's not good. It's not right. Let them know up front that you're an indie author, but then also make sure they understand that you're a bookworm, that you read the kinds of things that they read, you like the kinds of things that you, they like, and you should really get involved in the conversations that they're having. Don't be a traveling salesman. Be an actual member of that community. Engage your audience on their level. You know, actually be a part of that conversation. Contribute in meaningful ways and only plug your book or bring your book up when it's relevant and appropriate. You'll know when an opportunity presents itself. Like you'll understand, okay, now is a good time to actually mention my book. You don't wanna do it just out of nowhere because then it just looks like you're plugging yourself and being really shameless about it. Over time, you'll build up a support base that'll get to know you personally and will value your contributions that you brought to that community. And these are the kinds of people that are gonna support you as an indie author in the future. You might make some friends along the way and that's a great thing. So it's a win-win. So basically social media gives you a whole ton of ways that you can promote your self-published book. My advice to you if you're going to go that route and try your hand at social media marketing would be to pick one or two social networks that you're really active on and then use the rest of them as news feeds. I think I have like six different accounts, like maybe more than that, but I'm only active really on Twitter. It's the only one that I'm actually like going out of my way to interact with people on. It's just way too much effort for me. <laughs> I don't have the attention span to actually be active on so many different sites. So what I do is I just use the rest of them as news feeds. Like I'll publish updates to those, but I'm not really like searching for people to talk to. If someone comments on something, I'll get a notification and I'll respond to it. But in terms of like actually networking and seeking out new people, to try to talk to or to promote my book to. I really only do that on Twitter. I would say that that's probably a good strategy for most people, unless you're the kind of person who really can handle a whole bunch. It's just that I think if you have a normal like nine to five job, it's not gonna be as easy for you to constantly be on social media and putting the kind of time and effort into it that you would need to, to make it worth it. If you can afford to get a social media manager, then that's fantastic and you should do that. But for most self-publishing authors, you're not in that kind of position, you'll be doing this yourself. And also make sure you always use hashtags. I made a video about this in the past and a blog post, so I'll put links to those in the description. But that is a hugely important thing when you're doing social social media marketing. If you don't use the hashtags, people are way less likely to see what you're posting and you basically just shot yourself in the foot. So if you want a longer take on this topic, there is a blog post about social media marketing. I put a link in the description for that. And if you found this interesting or helpful, please like and subscribe, follow me on social media, all six or seven or whatever of them that I have. And as always, thank you for watching. God bless.